Welcome back, rookie. Right, kid. We're back in it. Get here when you can. Another stuff. <laughs> I'll be right there. In 100 meters, turn right. arrived early. Horizon Arcade will begin soon. arrived at your destination. Right, this is a post credit scene. And according to the call sheet, Victor wants... uh... both of you. Both of us? He doesn't know I exist, right? The two Alexes! Action! Hey, what do you say we make this one real? Oh, you know it! See you at the finish line! Ah, yes, this is what we have been working toward. The within made manifest. The conflict real. The outcome unknowable. My greatest work. A <laughs> oh, clever was it. Definitely, positively, a wrap.
So, Victor's asked me to join his remake of Rendezvous. Turns out he saw the thing we did in Edinburgh. It's a huge opportunity. And all thanks to you, kid. Actually, you know, I've got this idea. It's about twins who fight crime. In cars? I'm in. Tell me more. Amigo, the university is publishing data on desert weather patterns. I think we'd get the best readings from the Baja. I really hope we see a sandstorm. Me too. Let's go. Horizon Arcade will begin shortly. Good luck. You have arrived at your destination. Está bien. If we want to gather data from inside a sandstorm, first we have to find one. Let's tour the region. You want to drive, or should I? <laughs> You're the scientist. I'd better drive. Some desert landmarks will be helpful if we get hit with poor visibility. I can take survey data on the way. On it, my friend. Beautiful 
el Arco de Cabo San Lucas. It's a popular tourist destination. Maybe I'll come back during semester break. That's enough for one day. Time to get the raw data back to the university. Muy bueno. Now you have your bearings for when we find that big sandstorm. I'll keep an eye on the forecasts and give you a call. Fingers crossed. Hola, mi amigo. Still working on this desert weather survey for the university. Can you meet me? Be right there. Shop right. Turn sharp right. You have arrived at your destination. Ay, no storms in the horizon just yet. Lo siento. While we're waiting, how would you like to throw a desert flyer around some sand dunes? <laughs> Might as well. Now, let's demonstrate some physics, no? I should say, I've also set up some important scientific equipment for you. <laughs> Great! More things for me to smash. Well, if you must, I'm sure we could use the data. Perfecto! The loss of traction can cause a phenomenon you call oversteer. <laughs> si, sí, muy bueno. An effective demonstration of Newton's third law. Ah, the numbers are looking good. Show me more. Andale! Excellent practice for driving in poor visibility. You mean, if there's a sandstorm? When there is a sandstorm, my friend. I have seen the satellite pictures. <laughs> Trust me. Clearly, this is a lesson on the shape of a parabola. Ah, Macropus giganteus commonly known as the kangaroo's kill.
more fun than physics class. Excelente. I'll get the numbers to the university. And the video to my friends at Horizon. Bien hecho. Be ready for the call. According to the weather service, it's going to be a big one. Uh, count me in. Oh, I will. Call you soon. the Baja region. Wind increasing. This is it, my friend. This is it. Get down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Destination. You have arrived at your destination. Juan? here as fast as I could. Oh, not fast enough! Hey, get in! Vámonos! Vámonos! The storm is forming over there. Winds up to 110 kilometers per hour. But can't you go any faster? Sure. What do we do when we get there? You know. Science! Let's just get there! Are you lost? Or are you smashing things on purpose? There it is! The sandstorm! Full speed ahead! Straight into the middle! Okay! Are you sure? See, si, see! Si. The university equipped us with sensors. We'll be gathering data the whole way! Going this fast when we can't see? Making superstars proud! <laughs> what? You think we need to kick up more dust? Okay, if our data is correct, we'll have to take it off road!
Can't get much closer to a sandstorm than we just got, my friend. Bien hecho. With our data, the university will be able to track weather patterns much more accurately, so drivers can avoid sandstorms in the future. <laughs> Why would you avoid them? They're awesome. We should take a look at the wheel angles on the fair lady. I think we can open it up a bit further. Uh, Rob? Is that you? Are you in Mexico? Is it? Yes. Uh, you're a hard man to get in touch with. They're keeping me busy, Rob. But does this mean we're going drifting again? Yes. Yes, it does. Meet me at the festival when you can.
meters. Turn left. Welshman I know who can handle a car like that. Ah, well, it's not a patch on newer sideways skills, that's for sure. <laughs> Modest as always. So, what are we doing? I need a third-party evaluation of the modifications to my sprinter. So just drift it down the runway. Let's go! A nice show for the local drift club. Just like back in the UK. There we go, that's everything shaken out and warmed up. Feel free to keep going, though. That really is the best way around a corner. Actually, there is increasing acceptance of the value of lateral velocity in shortening a corner, even in more conventional racing contexts. It's been too long, Rob. The temp on those tyres is coming up nicely. Keep at it. the top if you want another run. So, when's the grand opening of Drift Club Mexico? Who told you about that? <laughs> You're too easy, Rob. Call me for the next one, you hear? Time to drop by and have a look at my Nissan. For the thing. Sure, Rob. Anything for not Drift Club Mexico. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 100 meters, turn right. arrived at your destination.
So, what have we got here? The Nismo GTR. I do love a Nissan. One of the best drift platforms in the world. In my opinion, of course. Evidence for other opinions is welcome. I've got a room. Right, let's see what this can do. It's technical. Some very tight turns along the reservoir. Rear wheel drive is perfect for this, though. Tight set of corners come in. This is all wheel drive. And pricey. Usually you see them on the pro drift and so Luckily, we had one knocking around the festival, so uh, I had a look at it for you. The GTR is famous as a modular platform, and that's not just because of the wheelbase and the organic grip. The VR38 DET engine is an exceptional starting point for a drift drift. That's a good car. What's the next recruitment vehicle? Recruitment? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure. Call me. by the bridge, drop by. But you know what? I'll slide right over then. In 400 metres, turn right. Sharp left. Turn sharp left. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. arrived at your destination. That's a 325. Very nice. Not stock, though, right? Not at all. Get in. I'll tell you as we go. Rear 
all-wheel drive, 6.2-litre V8 engine developing 750 bhp. Custom camber for optimal entrance and exit angles. It's quite the piece of engineering. Alejandra said this was her first drift car. That makes sense. Abundant parts, reliable and easy to work on too. So, this is an interesting technical challenge. Drifting uphill. The additional inertia is a very intriguing factor in how you achieve the optimal corner approach. Oh, if you're interested in how we calculate drift scores, it's about speed and angle in the drift. That means there's a maximum theoretical value for a stretch of roll. Excellent lateral velocity management. That's absolutely at the top end of my projections. As before, we're running some informal leaderboards for all of these little drives, and I've worked up a few of Haley's accolades. Have a look at them. There's a bit of a reward for doing them all. I'll take a look. Call me for the next one. Drop by the Copper Canyon.
400 meters, you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived at your destination. I thought we'd been focusing on the classics a little unfairly. So, how about this? The 2020 151 Formula Drift Supra. This is based on a 2020 Toyota GR Supra, modified by Papadakis Racing, with um, approximately 700 extra bhp. But higher baseline speed necessitates maintaining the drift at a greater lateral velocity. is a really tough corner. Be ready to functionally destabilize the rear. The trick here, I find, is how fast the cars need to balance forward velocity against the optimal angle. You are managing it nicely. corners if you take it though. into the upper projection range. Hmm, a bit more time. Uh, tell me, do you like volcanoes? What are you up to, Rob? Uh, nothing at all. Thanks for the help. I'll call you.
400 meters, turn right. Turn right. Sharp right. You have arrived at your destination.
That's the Formula Drift Mustang. Very nice. It is. I told you this was a muscle drift, and we've got 6.9 miles of the nicest drift road I think I've ever seen to try it out on. Let's get cracking. We're dealing with a supercharged 5-litre V8, giving you a good centre of rotation, very slightly biased front, 900 bhp to push out the back. It takes some... Um, my jocularity, lateral thinking, to build a good drift car out of a muscle platform. But I think this is a very competent attempt. It's all downhill from here. I mean that in the topographical sense. Watch the corners, though. Can't drift if we hit trees. Not bad for what's basically one and a half tons of 2015 Mustang GT. Just wait until you see... No, no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves.
on the project. Okay, time to come clean. What are you planning? Just a little something we've been working. Well, <laughs> you can wait a bit longer. You're no good at keeping secrets, Rob. You know that. Just pop over to Guanajuato. Quiet, you hear you. <laughs> sure, Rob. Mum's the word. Horizon Arcade will begin soon. Why not say hello to the other drivers whilst you wait? In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 200 meters, you will arrive at your destination. have arrived at your destination. I see you've brought some friends, Rob. Yeah, well, just the local chapter of Drift Club Mexico. We thought we'd surprise you. Well, there's more spectators than I expected for a secret club. Right, let's put on a bit of a show then. Just turn it... Or just go straight down the stairs. This is Mr. Kenneth Block's Hoonigan Gymkhana 10 Ford Focus RS RX. Two litre, turbocharged, front-mounted engine and all-wheel drive. There's only the one seat, so I will be the voice in you ahead. Guanajuato has something of a drift culture, you know. The tunnels, the narrow streets, the cathedral square. Our newest member, Pablo, organized it. Follow the tunnels, watch the walls, they're snaggy.
I've got a bit of a confession. You see, we've got another car for you to have a look at. Is that what I think it is? The RTR Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400, the first fully electric drift and Gymkhana platform. Should we take it out for a bit of a spin? This car was customised by drift legend and engineering wizard Mr Vaughan Gitton Jr. and the fine people at RTR. Why? To answer that age-old question, what is the future of controlled oversteer? What's up, Rob? Looks like you two are having a lot of fun with that car. Oh, yes. Vaughn is quite a piece of work. Could I perhaps press you for your impressions working on it? For the members. Getting behind the wheel of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 completely changed my perspective on what power and torque can be. Together, my team at RTR Vehicles and Ford Performance spent over 10,000 hours working collaboratively on this to bridge the gap between what people believe an electric car can do and what it can actually do. Turns out, it is well beyond my wildest expectations. The Mustang Mach-E 1400 uses seven motors, three on the front differential and four on the rear, giving us 1,400 horsepower so we can do anything from drifting to high-speed track racing. Every piece of aero and every duct you see is functional for aerodynamics and cooling. This car makes 2,300 pounds of downforce at 160 miles per hour. Ford has made it clear that they are bringing fun and function to the battery electric vehicle space, and this is just the start. I've watched even the most seasoned vets turn into giggly little kids behind the wheel and in the passenger seat of this wild machine. So, mission accomplished. We're almost at the end, but as you've noticed, we've been running in all-wheel drive mode with all seven motors. So, for the next bit, let's try something different. That was all-wheel drive. The motor layout allows you to change drivetrain, essentially, at the push of a button. So, just toggle it over from all-wheel drive into rear-wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, and then off we go. The fastest drivetrain swap you'll ever do. right-left opportunity ahead. Careful as you manage the inertia transfer. Very hard left, then right. Then sideways into the tunnel. and we're heading for where we started.
On behalf of Drift Club Mexico, as well as RTR and Ford Performance, let me thank you for this show of the noble art of intentional oversteer. So, we thought you might like to keep the Mach-E. Oh, that's amazing! But wait, won't Vaughn win it back, though? Oh, this is an exact duplicate of his. Let's just say I'm a bit excitable, too. <laughs> <laughs>